sure. I mean, I guess living in an apartment complex, you don't know you've got all kind of personalities. It's something no one ever expects to happen at the place they call home. Yesterday's tragic shooting at a Midtown apartment complex left four dead, including a Pima County constable and the gunman. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Liberty Bowl. So it's pretty crazy shit going on with fucking evictions right now. Fucking it's it's not, you know, an isolated incident. There's fucking we're actually bringing you two stories today. So one's from Tucson, my hometown here, and another one from Texas. And it's basically it, it's dealing with evictions, it's dealing with the economic woes that's going on in America right now. And it's a uh, really eye opening as I don't, I don't know if you want to call it eye opening, but um, I don't know. It's it's ridiculous, man. Fucking people are going goddamn nuts. And it's fucking basically because all these economic woes, you know, like I say, I don't know fucking anyone specific, you know, um, uh, dilemmas. And I don't really care to. I mean. Sorry not to be a dick, but I got my own fucking problems. I don't want to hear, you know, everyone's fucking issues and stuff like that. Yeah, things are fucking tough all over, people. So let's go ahead and uh, without further ado, before we get into that, let's get into this. Well, let me run it down to you, communist, homosexual, faggot, dipshit, motherfucker. Fuck you, that's why. Cause fuck you, that's why. Cause helmets suck, that's why. And copies like you swallow, that's why. Fuck Pete Wilson, that's why. Fuck Dick Boy, that's why. God, he was a quiet guy. I mean, this is... It's crazy. I didn't think this would ever happen. He got into it a couple guys, but I mean, nothing that's not out of the ordinary. I mean, people get upset, you know, but nothing, nothing like this. This man wishes to remain anonymous, but told me the shooter, who's been identified as 24-year-old Gavin Lee Stanzel, worked with him for several months prior to the shooting. Yesterday, he was working when he heard at least 10 gunshots from the Lynn Commons apartment complex. Tucson police say the shooting happened when Pima County Constable Deborah Martinez Gaudibay served an eviction notice to Stanzel. When Gaudibay and the apartment manager, Angela Fox Heath, served the notice, Stanzel opened fire. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this first one here. This is coming from uh, my hometown of, of Tucson, Arizona. Pretty crazy shit, man. Like I say, these these fucking these evictions, they're they're dangerous, man. So basically fucking uh, as as you guys saw in a uh, yeah, the the fucking news report basically this guy was getting evicted and basically went went on a, a shooting a shooting rampage. Like he shot the the police constable. He shot fucking uh, uh, the apartment manager. He shot fucking one of his neighbors. Then he fucking went ahead and killed himself. So pretty damn crazy shit, right? So this was the uh, the police constable right here. Her name was um, Deborah Martinez Garibe. All right, so she she was a uh, shot down shot down in the line of duty serving an eviction notice right they can you know i'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna try and make light of it you know that, that's that's pretty shitty you know you, as you guys know i'm not a big fan of the the polices but still it's yeah she she wasn't being a fucking piece of shit you know she was she was doing her fucking job she was you know basically serving some some fucking uh eviction notices and granted yeah you know getting evicted sucks man fucking but at the same time it is what it is, you know. So what's what's really the the cause of of all of these evictions and stuff going on right now? Because this isn't an isolated incident. We're gonna get into the the other one here in just a minute. So what's what's really going on here? It's you know, of course, fucking uh, economic woes, things like that. You know, if I can go ahead and we'll, we'll blame the the system, that type shit. If I can. I don't know what we'll blame the fucking the the COVID, the fucking lockdowns. We'll blame all this fucking horrible, horrible fucking economy fucking the the energy crisis and shit like that like dude my fucking electric bill was like fucking three hundred dollars last month i mean i get it you know it's fucking summer here in arizona and shit like that but jesus dude it's getting out of control so fucking i mean we we've seen uh gas prices go down just recently but uh i mean it's it's still it's it's a drop in the water compared to where they were at you know fucking we're seeing all kinds of shit going on all over the world right it's economic woes everywhere everywhere things are tough all over as fucking cheech and chong would say right and um 
yeah, fucking, it's it's getting rough. Fucking people are getting evicted. Fucking, and you know, it's it's getting pretty bad out here, man. Um, and then I woke up to the sound of like banging. It sounded like really loud banging. Um, and then come to find out it was gunshots. But it was a lot of it, and it was really loud, like somebody clapping something together. Fox Heath was found dead in the courtyard by TPD. Gaudibai was found dead inside the apartment with a gunshot wound. TPD says Stanzel made his way into a neighboring apartment, and that's where he shot 25-year-old Elijah Miranda. I spoke with several tenants, and they say they didn't know Stanzel very well. Yeah, I've seen him in passing before. Um, he lived near the laundry room, and so we'd see him in passing as we were going to the laundry room and stuff, but we never actually talked to him or anything. As officers continued to search the apartment complex, they found Stanzel dead in an apartment, having turned the gun on himself. Let's, let's go ahead and get into to this other one, right? So this one is from Houston, Texas, right? So Houston tenant kills three others and sets fire to lure them out, all right? So this motherfucker went ahead, and in the middle of the night, he set fire to these places, or to, to this place that he was just evicted from. As the tenants come running out, he's blah, blah, blasting them with a shotgun, all right? So let's see. A man evicted from a Houston apartment building shot five other tenants, killing three of them Sunday morning after setting fire to the house to lure them out, police said. The suspect was an African-American male, approximately age 40 years old, dressed in all black and armed with a shotgun. Officers fatally shot the gunman. The victims, all men, range in age from 40 to 60. Two were dead at the scene and one died at a hospital. Two other wounded men were hospitalized with non-life-threatening wounds. All right. So this is fucking in Texas. All right. This is... Check out this little video here. I don't, I don't think there's really much to it, but yeah, it, it looks like just the aftermath in the morning, right? So this motherfucker set fire to this goddamn place, fucking starts blasting people as they're coming out. I did read into some of the articles a little bit. He started fucking shooting at the at the firefighters when they showed up, and then I guess police showed up and uh, you know killed the man. But still, it's madness, you know, all all over being evicted, which you know, as I said, it, it does suck. You know, it's it's shitty. It's fucking hard out here. It's fucking hard out here for everybody right now. But um, I mean, there's there's clearly you know better solutions about going about you know this and stuff like that. I don't know, man. It's it's fucking it's rough. I don't. I, I definitely don't know these people's you know specific economic situations. What led to these you know to this situation? You know what you know? Did they get laid off? Did their fucking you know did their social security fucking bullshit checks get fucking cut? Like, I, I honestly don't know. And I'm not really going to look too deep into it. I'm just going to say economic woes, people. And uh, things are tough all over, right? So basically, if, I can, if you are in this situation, you know, I implore you, people, don't do this type of bullshit, man. Can, can we stop with the fucking, with the dumbass fucking, like, oh, you know, fucking, if I can't fucking make it, then fucking, oh, I'm just going to go shoot a bunch of people and shit, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I, I, I don't see the fucking logic in any of these people's motives or fucking... Yeah, any of that, you know, especially when we see people like the Indiana mall shooter. Yeah, I'm going to keep talking about him. Motherfucker, dude, 21 year old kid just blah, blah, blah. Nope. Fuck you. You ain't getting fucking, you know, any more victims here today. So it's, it's fucking pretty crazy times people. So definitely fucking make sure you guys are, you know, looking out for each other. Take care of each other. Don't fucking lose your heads, people. I mean, yeah, yeah. Times are tough all over. If it can just, you know. 2024 people 2024 it's gonna get better all right if i can just you know hold on man if i can stay tough work hard if i can pay your bills do what you got to do people if i can you know stay close to your families if i can look out for each other and fuck off oh yeah don't forget to like subscribe share all that shit how do you guys like that new ticker i put down at the bottom pretty cool shit right i'm learning how to fucking uh you know, do this shit a little bit better but either way it's all good times people you guys have a good one and once again, fuck off. Don't forget to like and subscribe, bitch!